back, as much fun as we normally have on this show and uh, starting the thing with uh, you on the golf course. And then, but the reality of things hit you within the last hour or so. We all got the word that, uh, that Mark Eaton had passed away, the former great for the Utah Jazz, two-time defensive player of the year, 64 years old. Um, and we've lost him today. What a gentleman who, after his playing career, author, motivational speaker, just a good man. And this was a stunner. You know, I, I have been testing with Mark Eden every day this week. Uh, we have a mutual friend, Cowboy Joe West, who just broke the record for the most games umpired. He sent me this picture Thursday night with the guy on the, on the left is Paul Corrales. Uh, who played, played with the Minnesota Vikings yes, for a long and time. And obviously, you know, the great Jim McMahon. He sends me this picture Thursday. He sent me, because I couldn't be there for Cowboy, he sends me pictures every day this week. They had a big celebration. Man, what? Because uh, he said, he said, hey, you know this guy? I said, that's the great Joey Crawford right there. Yeah. And it, it, we've been texting all week. And when I got into the studio this morning, they said, Ben told me that Mark had passed away. They just broke my heart. And, you know, we, Shaq is, you know, Shaq acts like he's a tough guy, but I think Shaq is a gentle giant. You know, you got George Murison, you got the Kimbe Matumbo, but that guy right there is yeah. the ultimate gentle giant. Yeah. I got yeah. the news this morning from Leah Wilcox. She uh, texts my mother, and my mother texts me. I didn't know Mark. Played against him a couple times. Mark was the first gentleman that made me feel small. What I mean by that, in elementary, high school, AAUs, I was always the tall kid. Everybody looked up against me. And, you know, when I was 80, 87, 88, before I met you, Ernie, I was a Spurs fan, sitting way at the top. I used, I used to see him. But I didn't realize how tall he was. Seven, four until we played against him. And he was tough. I used to give him that, that old uh, a patented elbow sandwich that I give the guys. He, he never complained, never said anything. So uh, my condolences goes out to his family. I hear nothing but great things about him. I don't want to say his story wrong, so if, if you don't know Mark Eaton's story, you should check it out. Something about him working at a grocery store and they find him and he turned into an unbelievable NBA player. But, you know, what a remarkable story and, you know, to to back up what uh, Chuck said, I just hear nothing but nice stories about him. Yes, yeah. Suns drafted him in the fifth round, 19th pick, 107th overall, um, back in 1979, product of uh, UCLA. Yeah, uh, you, I mean, everyone's hit it on the head. Uh, a class act, gentleman, uh, seven foot four, gentleman, and um, but a tenacious rebounder, tenacious shot blocker, and then you get off the court, he he shake your hand brush your shoulder off for you if you needed something. Uh, obviously, playing in Utah, we, we played against them so many times in the playoffs. You know, as, as much as Stockton and Malone were the face of the Utah Jazz, so was Mark Eaton. Like, everyone associated him with the Utah Jazz. Uh, and uh, his ability to just, you know, connect with people, being in the players, uh, retired players association uh, as well, connecting players, that was his job as well in, in the Retired Players Association. So we all talk to him on, you know, on, on a lot of different bases, and uh, he will be dearly well, missed. You know, Jazz took him, uh, just to continue the bio on you, he's fourth round of uh, the 1982 draft, and all 11 seasons in the NBA played yeah. with uh, And I want to say something, because we, we, I don't understand why I had some goddamn attraction, but uh, speaking of Utah, I want to give my best to Sean Bradley. Uh, we haven't mentioned it, and nobody's been talking about it. He got uh, paralyzed in a bike accident actually probably like two or three months ago, and I haven't heard anybody mention it since we were talking about that. I just want to give Sean my best. Uh, he, he, just, he was a really good kid and a very good player. But, man, since we are talking about Mark, I want to give my best to Sean Bradley and his family. Yeah, and the, the reports today are that uh, Mark Eaton, after his time in Chicago, had, had gone back home, was riding his bike last night wow. near his home last evening, did not return. Exact cause of death undetermined at this point, but no foul play expected. And, um, man, it's just a big loss that's for our just family. a stunner. When you know these guys personally, when you know what a good, just a good Person. man Mark Eaton was, uh, and he has gone at the age of 64.